Nick has no idea that we're bringing this box over to his house. What's up, brother? I've never seen this fish in person, honestly. Bro, this is crazy. Oh. Ah! 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 Got me, boy, got me. Ah! What do you think, bro? Holy sh! Thank you so much. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are at the airport at Southwest Cargo. I'm going to be gifting my buddy Nick Tobler, also known as the Indoor Eel Farmer, something insane for his underground eel pit. Yo guys, we legit got Nick two fish that I've never even seen before. He has no idea. I texted him today and was like, hey bro, can I come up and see the eel pit? I'm going to be picking up fish for myself. But little does he know the fish that I'm picking up are actually going to be going to his house for his eel pit. Now Nick is a long time buddy of mine. He's a super cool dude. And so that's why I'm doing this for him today. But right now, guys, we're just waiting for the box to get unloaded off the flight. Then we're going to go inside the cargo center. We're going to pick it up and bring it to Nick's house. And he's going to be so shook. I cannot wait to give this to him. Check this out, guys. We got our box right here. Bro, these fish are going to be a lot bigger than I thought. This box came from Florida. As you can see, Florida's finest aquatics. Bro, this is going to be so insane. All right, guys, let's get this loaded up in the truck. Oh, frick. That sucker's heavy. And like I said, Nick has no idea that we're bringing this box over to his house. He literally thinks we're just coming over to say, hey, check out some of the stuff he's done. Check out all the blue crabs he had out of the eel pit. But no, we got a big surprise for him. He's going to freak out. This is definitely one of his dream fish. He's wanted for so long. This is going to be so sick. Let's head to Nick's house right now and surprise him with these fish. All right, guys, we just pulled up to Nick's house. Let's go beat down his door and see what's up. Bro, he literally thinks right now that we're just coming to say what's up and check on the eel pit. But little does he know, this thing is going to be so insane. Nick. We're here. What's up, brother? Welcome back. We got Nick here. We're here at his house right now to go do another update on the eel pit. I know a lot of stuff has changed since you were here last time. Yeah, we got the crabs in there, lots of new stuff. I've been wanting to come back for a while now, but since we had to pick up the fish today for the 8,000 gallon pond and we're already at the airport, we might as well, you know, stop at your house on the way home. So I'm gonna go check out the eel pit, man. But first I got a surprise for you today, actually. Really? So it's in the truck. It's not eels. I know okay. that Asian market, you know, it's kind of our thing. We love going to the Asian market and rescuing stuff. But dude, this thing today is something that I don't know if you've ever had one of these specifically. I've never had one personally. Yeah. They're really expensive and also really hard to get. <laughs> and for all you all out there who don't know Nick, Nick literally has a cult following that, you know, yeah. your eel put has just gone crazy. Yeah. You have what, a million followers on just TikTok? Just past a million on TikTok. Just yeah. past a million on TikTok. And for those of you all who didn't know as well, me and Nick had been friends even before social media. So I guess that makes me an OG eel pit fan, even though I was the one who told Nick not to do the eel pit. He Yo, texted cool. me before this was even happening and he was like, bro, we're doing an eel pit. And I'm like, come on, bro. You gotta do like a shark tank. And then now it's like, he has a million followers and all this crazy news here, CNN. Yeah, it's worked out. Every news station. And I'm like, I'm an idiot. So moral of the story, don't ever listen to me do, but let's get this box out right here. And this is something that will definitely make the eel pit one of a kind, like I don't know anybody else who has this fish in their underground eel pit. So enough talking guys, let's go ahead and take this thing to the deck and let's let you crack it open, man. All I right. can't wait to surprise you, but this is gonna be so insane. I'm, I'm excited. Ah, it's time, man. I can't wait to see these things, bro. I've never seen this fish in person, honestly. Yeah, I'm curious. And if you cry what or pass out, we'll call an ambulance <laughs> for you. We had an ambulance on standby just in case Nick passes out and falls over. All right, bro, this is so sick. Got it. Dude, I can't believe they sent us this. It's a big box. It's a big box. All right, bro. you ready? It's time, baby. Whoa. Holy oh, Sturgeon. Those are massive. Dude. Those are huge. Where'd you find them? Florida's finest aquatics hooked us up with these sturgeon for Nick. These things are so these, cool. I've they're never huge, seen them. bro. They're, yeah, they're huge, babies. These but are, they're still babies, which is crazy. These are tiny babies, but they are bro, the are perfect so size. Sick. I mean, to go with the gar and stuff, and, and they have a small mouth, so they shouldn't hurt the eels. Looks just like a dinosaur. Yeah, they do. They got a row of like uh, bony scutes down their back. Yeah. I, ha I have considered sturgeon in the past. I never thought, I mean, they're just too expensive at this size for me to really consider. They're, they are more fragile fish, so. Yeah, and for those of you all watching, Nick knows a ton about yeah. fish, way more than I ever do. I pretty much ask all my fish questions pretty much yeah. go to Nick. So that's why today I want to do something crazy for him to those repay him sweet. for answering all my questions. Bro, aren't those so sick? Oh, man, I've never seen one like this size before. So what we're gonna do guys right now is Nick, we're gonna head down underground into your eel pit. We're gonna get these guys acclimated and why they're acclimating, I wanna show you all some of the other crazy stuff that Nick has here at his house. He has some fish that you've probably never even seen before. So we got the sturgeon, that's insane. Uh, and here's my eel pit for those of you who don't know. This is, uh, we're in my garage right now, but this is a rainwater cistern under my garage. All right guys, I definitely never thought I'd be doing this, handing sturgeon down to an underground eel pit. There you amazing. go, Nick. Bro, and that eel pit is huge down there. We're gonna go down there, 
just in a second, Nick's gonna have to assist us down because I am not that nimble. But bro, look at this, this is so insane. Dude, I miss this place so bad. Look at that echo too. Bro. acclimate for at least an hour in the bag but right now we're gonna go inside of Nick's house and show you a lot of the crazy stuff that he has Nick has turtles tortoises all kinds of insane fish so we're gonna head in there right now and Nick is gonna show us around all right we're inside Nick's office right now this is a very special fish right here Nick take it away baby yeah this is my Australian lungfish mango uh, he's coming up on a year and a half old and he's about ready to get out of this 40 gallon uh, I'm waiting for the uh, 75 gallon. I had all those loaches in to clear out, make sure no diseases or anything are left over in there. Something really interesting about that fish too, Nick, isn't it endangered? Uh, yeah, so they're protected in Australia, um, but these come captive bred from a farm in Australia specifically for the pet trade. Um, so he's actually microchipped with uh, paperwork, kind of like says he's captive bred, he came from this farm. So they can like trace him back to that farm to make sure they're all captive bred. Sounds expensive. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, he was. I definitely <laughs> would love to get one of those guys. You know, I've obviously had some opportunities to get them but i think they were like 1800 bucks at the time yeah i paid 15 for him golly maybe, maybe you can give me like a loan or something like that yeah <laughs> we're gonna head on the next basement right now he has one of my old tanks what's it 400 gallons i think it's five 500 yeah, gallons my 500 gallon tank that used to be in the warehouse that i took out after disaster struck yeah. and I lost everything but now nick has it so let's go see it yeah. okay behind here guys is nick's 500 gallon tank look how sick this is bro you got some really expensive fish in here yeah i got the albino alligator guard here uh big uh platinum alligator guard in the back he actually just recently broke his back unfortunately dang dude yeah he's polys they like this spook every once in a while and uh, it must have spooked him in the night where he bolted hit a wall and yeah, look at his back. Looks like he needs to go to the chiropractor, honestly. But is there anything you can do for him? Is he stuck like that for the rest he's of his life? He's probably pretty much just going to be permanently bent like that. He still eats great, does amazing from the top down in the eel pit. Hopefully it won't be noticeable. Uh, but he still does amazing, so he's not having any issues with it. That's such a pretty fish, dude. I, I need to get one of those for the pond. That, that's so beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, they're definitely my favorite. That's going to be one of the most prettiest monster fish that you can buy. You know, everyone thinks a freshwater fish is like super ugly, but like, for example, right here, So this here is my blue tongue skink. Uh, it's absolutely one of the biggest blue tongue skinks I've ever seen. Yeah, if you just support both ends. Bro, this looks like a giant potato. This is Nick's pet potato right here. Yeah. Look at that. He is he is a chunky one. Oh, like a loaded that's, big potato. That's the biggest dude. one I've ever seen, honestly. Bro, this is massive. And yeah, they he got so he's got a he's got a blue tongue, right? Yeah. He flicks it? Yeah, he usually doesn't unless he's like. Oh, really he mad. just did it, bro. He yeah. just did it, bro. Goes some. All right, let's set him down. Does he move like a potato would? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, look at that guy. If a snake had legs, this is what it would look like. I hope you all enjoyed that quick tour of some of Nick's stuff inside his house. I know it didn't do it justice, but guys, it is so cool. He has so many cool animals. But down here, it is time to add the sturgeon. Nick, are you gonna help me out, man? I'm kind of scared, bro. All right. Yeah. Dude, he's got his shoes off. He must be getting in. All right, I'm gonna try to slide in nice and easy, all right? All right, Nick, it's time, man. He's got the bags packed open. But yeah, here, I'll try to, try to pull one out here so we can see it. It'll let me. Oh yeah, oh, check that out. Check out the spines down their back, the skewts. Oh, that is a dinosaur, dude. They got the barbels, all right, let's get to the water. Oh, that is amazing. Bro, are you kidding me right now? That's so cool. That is, 
That's probably the only sturgeon in the entire world in a freaking eel pit. Yo guys, I just accidentally drenched my shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in actually with the sturgeon because why not, right? We're here, we might as well get in. Is that not the craziest fish you've ever seen? I've never seen one this size in person. Honestly, I've only ever seen babies in pet stores. And they're gonna get huge. They will literally be this freaking big, if not bigger. They'll be as tall as me, dude. Yeah. insane guys florida's finest aquatics hooked it up for us today like i said this would not be possible without them if you want to buy some sturgeon for yourself make sure to click on the link below check out their facebook you all can buy these sturgeon the same ones that we put in the eel pit today also now seeing these fish in person i really think that we should get some for the 8,000 gallon pond if you guys want to see that make sure to blow this video up like it show it mad love subscribe guys and we'll get a bunch for the 8,000 gallon pond at the fish warehouse Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.